Hello everybody and welcome to Zilonka. In this video, we will start on this DLC map that came out a couple of months ago. I've been wanting to play on this map for such a long time, but have been very busy with schoolwork and setting up the YouTube channel. This means that I will be going into this let's play completely blind. Although I have already played quite a bit of farming simulator, I'm reaching the 700 hours now. I have struggled to keep a farm for a long time because I keep on restarting. I hope that this will be an opportunity for me to have a longer term project. I hope that you enjoy this new series and more importantly I hope that you enjoy this first episode. Let's get started, well, make a very brief tour in the menu. In terms of tractors, we have two medium tractors, meaning that we do start with some levels of horsepower, but I think it's relatively similar to what we have in other maps. In fact, in Obeilron, for example, we have uh, more tractors, but maybe a bit less horsepower. Uh, it's pretty nice. We have the basic dates of our uh, harvester, uh, obviously the pickup truck, two trailers actually, this one with uh, quite a big capacity and a smaller one. We have the header for the harvester, we have the new planter for the new crops, carrots, parsnip and beetroot, and we have the harvester to harvest the new crops. We have a 4.5 meter disc harrow, our regular cedar, weeder, header trailer, one weight, and this pallet fork, which I might sell because it's not very useful for me. So, um, I think we will begin with the harvest. I wanted to point out before we begin that I will be playing uh, using a lot of mods for realism. For example, I have Harvest Experience mod to add realism to harvesting. I have all of my settings so that it's as difficult as possible. So I guess it's just a good old time. realized that maybe the sounds were a bit high so you can hear my voice so I hope it's better now I think the AI worker let me check yeah 95% so with this I'm gonna feed the chickens 
this roll. And then the rest can just move this way. I don't think the chickens will need very much food. We can keep the rest for future years. Maybe we'll just sell it. Uh, it does say daily food 156. So we have enough if it's around 2000. We have 8000. We have enough for four years. Yeah. So, I think it might be good to keep it for now, and maybe in the future if we get a bakery or something, then it might be a good idea to make flour. <coughs> because otherwise, just regular wheat isn't actually worth all that much. Let's see, the best price for wheat is 407 per thousand liters, so that's not even the 4,000 uh, euros when you can easily make that in profits from the eggs. So I think I'll just keep it like that and I might sell the rooster and buy an uh, adult one, and that way the chickens can breed because I have the enhanced animal system. Actually, I might just buy all um, adult animals. That way, uh, we can start producing eggs right away. So I'm guessing the consumption has increased. Yeah. So now we only have enough for two years. But hopefully we We'll get more from the rest of the harvest. So, I'll go to the shop and get a baler. I think we will lease a baler because buying ones, especially the good ones, are kind of expensive. You can still look at the price. Let's see, like the Vermeer one, which is probably what I would go for. This is the cheapest one that can make 180 centimeter bales. That's 56.5k. And to lease is 2.8. So yeah, I think I'll lease it and do the veiling myself, I guess. Yeah, should be pretty straightforward. Turn it on, lowering it. Enjoy the time lapse. Two bills so far. So 
option having a big impact. Also, it seems that the harvester is done with the harvest, which is good. So I'll just let a worker finish that. Because I don't think we're going to do any planting this month, but I might be wrong. This needs to be plowed. There, we don't have a plow or a subsoiler. So I think that I'm gonna release a subsoiler as well. And just use this tractor. And uh, subsoil the other field. I think I'm just gonna take this one because it's cheap, it's four meters wide, and it gets the job done.
seems. It seems that the builder is done. Yeah. Basically done. Of course, he missed a tiny spot. some math. So we're at 65 euros for the rest remove. 65 euros. And then return to Baylor. straw. Now, the question is how are we going to get rid of all these bales? How are we going to get them off the field? I think that the best option for that is going to be to buy a front loader for the tractor. does work and it also works with pallets difficult choice I think I'll go for the realistic option and get the bail spike it's also a bit cheaper so yeah.
Okay, so I can just leave this with the harvester. Really don't need it again this month. I don't know what's going on. I'll just finish the rest myself.
just return this and that will be all for this first episode on Zilonka. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Sorry there were so many time lapses, but obviously in the first episode there is just a lot of uh, things to do. And yeah, the best format I think is uh, the time lapse. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, that way people get to actually see this video because it gets recommended on YouTube and yeah as I said the first three episodes are out so I guess start watching episode two I hope you enjoy it yeah see you next time